heard you talk about planning your day. Yeah. Now, does this build your funnel? I do a lot of to do lists. Okay. Do they, do they complement each other or do they I hope so. actually conflict with building the funnel with the data approach? I, I think did everybody hear the question? He, he wants to know, he, he's a list builder, he's a to do list guy. And he wants to know if being a to-do list guy is going to conflict with building the funnel in the way that we're suggesting here. And I don't think so. I don't think they're mutually exclusive at all. Right. I think they're complementary. And the reason I think that is that if you build into your day, into your to-do list, items that are going to fill your funnel, items that are going to move the needle, items that are going to build a relationship, items that are going to help you to move to that next step along the path that you know will lead to success, and absolutely, your list is going to help you to make sure that you're organized in such a way. That, to me, that's an organizational piece. And it's not conflicting with this at all. Does that answer your question? Okay. Yeah. I think what he's really saying is adding value to his to-do to his, to his, to his list. Okay. It's like adding value to that list. If, if making a list is going to help keep you on task, then absolutely it adds value. Okay, some of us can keep it up here. I can't. I used to be able to, but uh, we've got a sieve up here today. So I, I'm like you. I have to write some stuff down. And if I don't, that little organizational step that I take in the morning or the night before or whatever it is helps me to see this is what I got to do tomorrow. This is what I got to do today to move that needle. And it's it's an organizational step. So again, not in any way conflicting with with this process. Okay. Other questions? Okay. So as you build your funnel, some ideas, networking events, mix it up. Don't just go to team or BNI or whatever. Go to the chamber. Go to as many different kinds of events you can possibly get to. Because you're going to meet different folks at each one. I love the idea of having a Referral network, folks that really get to know you week over week, because that builds relationship, which is what we got to do. Builds trust that they can send somebody to you, and you will treat them the way that they would want you to treat their customer. That referral, right? But if you only do that, you're potentially narrowing the scope of your influence. So don't don't just go to one kind of event. Build strategic partnerships. Online social networking stuff. How many of you are doing uh, LinkedIn, uh, Facebook, Twitter? Okay. What's the key to making those things work? You can make your news out to a new demographic that there's no access to you. Okay. So that's what it ultimately achieves, right? Is, is it opens the doors to a lot more folks who wouldn't otherwise maybe know about you. I heard something else over here, but it beats me. Beats me? Don't. Okay. What, what's the key? Ah. Okay. Short, okay. And okay. Short and informative. Okay. Short and informative message. Yeah, forces 